it's me again. <laughs> yes, indeed. Boy, do I have a thrift haul for you today. This is Goodwill Salvation Army. Goodwill is from uh, my Senior Citizen Tuesday. And uh, I spent $100 at Goodwill. I spent $85.74 at Salvation Army. I got some great stuff though, guys. Um, I'm going to save the best item for last um, that I found at Goodwill. Um, there's this old man that I run into all the time. He is He's got to be in his 70s, you know, upper 70s, I would say. And he resells. And I always see him at Goodwill and Salvation Army. And he always goes by and he says, what'd you get good? And he looks in my cart. He goes, so he said to me, what's, what's the best thing you got today? And I pointed to this item that's in front of me here. And he says, oh, yeah? And I said, yeah. And I was telling him about it. He says, oh. Well, good. That's good. He said, I didn't find anything good. <laughs> so he's, he's a little cutie. But uh, yeah, so I did find a really great item at Goodwill and in really fantastic condition too. So I was very happy about that. Um, but I'll show that later on. Uh, I got a couple really good things from Goodwill. Um, but I'm going to start with Salvation Army first. I'm going to make you guys wait it out. Of course, I know y'all will just fast forward, but whatever. <laughs> so, anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name's Dee. I am an avid uh, thrifter and reseller. I sell on YouTube live sales and on eBay. And uh, I do all different types of videos. I don't just do thrift hauls. I do shop alongs uh, from time to time. I do craft videos, um, upcycle videos, cooking, baking, sprinkled out here and there. So I do quite a bit of different things. But the majority of my videos are thrift hauls. So if it sounds like something that you would enjoy, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell so YouTube will notify you anytime I upload a new video or go live. All right, with that being said, guys, we're going to get into this thrift haul. All right, I'm going to start with these things back here. Um, so I did buy this rickety looking little um, particle board ghost. But I'm going to do a little upcycle on him. I'm going to change him up a little bit, I think. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with him yet, but I'll figure something out. So, we got that guy. Then I got this. I got this Happy Holidays, the Christmas Carols and Songs game. And I will use um, this game, the, the trivia and stuff, um, for package toppers uh, when it comes a little closer to Christmas. I'm just throwing stuff on the floor so I can make room. I got these two adorable little Halloween signs. I just love them. Happy Halloween. We got the pumpkin with the crow and the cute little witch with her little, it's a jack-o-lantern. It's not a pumpkin. A pumpkin doesn't have a carved face. <laughs> So I thought those were really cute. Um, I picked this up. Uh, I am going to upcycle this as well. Uh, I've been doing a lot of upcycle, up, blah, 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 upcycling and crafts. So that's what I purchased this for. Not that I don't like that it says pray, but I want to do something a little more spectacular with it. I got this beautiful Vera Bradley 
Um, this is like brand new, guys. Um, it's a wallet, but you could also use it as a clutch purse. It is in perfect condition. It's got all kinds of um, credit card holders and um, you could keep your cash in here. It's got a pocket here for cash or a checkbook. Does anybody use checkbooks anymore? I do. I do. Another one on this side, cash on one side, checkbook on the other, credit cards, whatever. Uh, it's got a little zipper pocket on the outside. You could put your cell phone in there. Very, very nice item. Love this. I should keep it for myself. <laughs> uh, this is another item I got. Someone cricketed, uh, look at what Mason made and have this string on here and you hang all the little art projects from the kid, Mason, I'm assuming. Um, but I'm going to do something else with this. Not sure what, but I'm sure it'll be cool. I hope. I then got this. Um, this I am keeping. It is this awesome way to display pictures and it's got that rustic farmhouse look to it. But I love this. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it, but I'm not positive. Um, I, I, I think I'm probably going to and I think I'm gonna hang pictures of my, my new granddaughter on here. And I'm gonna put it in my new office. Yes. Um, maybe at the end of this video, I'll insert a little clip of my new office space. I'm so excited about it. All right. I'm going to set that back up there along with this and these. I don't want anything to get broken. Okay. Now, I also got from Salvation Army. Now, um, some of these have some little paint chips, but that's an easy fix. I got three of these <laughs> little witches. Now, you could use these as a planter, but I think these would be great to do assemblages in. Um, I may keep one and do an assemblage in it. I'm not quite sure yet, but they are adorable. They are adorable. And like I said, I got three of them. And I love them. I think they're oh, too, too cute. When I saw this frame, I thought of my friends that live in, um, in the South, like in Florida and the Carolinas. And I had to get this. Look at this awesome picture frame with the coral, with the blue coral. Isn't this awesome? And I think this, well, it doesn't come out. It's glued in, but you just slide your picture in between the two pieces of plexiglass. Um, I just have to clean the glass, that's all. But I love this. I think it's awesome. And I can't believe that nothing's broken on it. Like, that's a miracle. So I love that. I was glad to find that. I found a couple of gorgeous teacup and saucer sets. This one is, um, again, that um, Cold Clow China, Cold Clow, made in Longton, England. And this one is a beautiful shade of light blue and gold. Isn't that pretty? I know it's probably coming off looking white, but it is a very pale blue. But this one is the killer one. This one is absolutely stunning. This one is uh, made in Germany. And it says Winterling on it. And I'm thinking that might be the name of the pattern, perhaps. Oh my goodness, look at this gorgeous cup. Oh dear, 
This is gorgeous. It is, it's, it's a cross between a royal blue with a, like maybe a little purple in it. I don't know. It's more, more of a royal blue. And I think because the flowers are purple, it kind of plays off of it. But yeah, it is gorgeous. This is a stunning set. Oh my gosh. I was like, I have to get that. Absolutely stunning. Did I say it's stunning? Okay. I, I said it again. <laughs> How cute is this little box? Put some candy corn in there or something. Tie it up and give it as a gift for somebody for Halloween, a grandkid or whatever. It's too cute. Yes. Love it. I got this um, for like Easter time. It is the cutest thing ever. It is Hallmark. <laughs> look at this little chick. How cute would this look with a big pile of um, jelly beans in here? Or you could put Easter grass and some eggs. I mean, how stinking cute is this? And it's a nice size too. I love it. Oh, he's so cute. My goodness. Clown alert. Clown alert, everyone. Now this, um, I didn't take the stickers off. I forgot. I just got to take this one off, though, so I could see what it says. Oh, it's upside down. Um. It's microwave and dishwasher safe. It's made in China. Manufactured exclusively for uh Oh my gosh. Something entertainment. Feld F E L D Feld Entertainment. Look at this clown cup. How cool is that? He is awesome and in perfect condition. Perfect condition. I know there's a lot of people out there that hate clowns. But I got a lot of people that shop with me at my live sales that love clowns. So when I see really cool clown items, I always pick them up. Let's take a thumbnail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See if I can put that back over there. Okay, the next item I got is this gorgeous art glass dolphin. Look at this guy. Don't mind the sticker. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. It's got its original sticker. It says, um, wow. Twenty four percent crystal France lead crystal. Yeah, so it is lead crystal from France, and it is a beauty. Oh, I love it. So pretty. Then I got these, and these are so well done. I have two of these. They are taper candle holders. Wouldn't these be gorgeous on your Thanksgiving table? Look at, they're so pretty. Oh my word, they just really did them so well. And they're a resin, but yeah, I love these. I thought these were great.
I also got this bag of, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Like potpourri type stuff or whatever. You put it in, in a bowl on a table or you could take bits out and use it in craft projects, which is why I bought it. Yeah. So I got that. I'll stick that back there, get it out of my way. Then, OMG, you know how I am with cobalt blue. Tell me this is not gorgeous. And it is in perfect condition. Not a chip anywhere. It is absolutely amazing. Oh, I love it. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. I was like, please don't have anything wrong with you when I took it off the shelf. And it was good. <laughs> All right. The last thing from Salvation Army. Um, this is a beauty, 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 beauty. It is a Fenton piece. It is white hobnail. And it is this gorgeous banana boat. This is in perfect condition. No chips, cracks, or flea bites. Oh, I got an itchy nose. Yep. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I waited for this to go half price. So I was happy about that. Can't beat half price, man. That's all I'm saying. Half price is better than full price any day. All right. So that is everything from Salvation Army. Uh, not bad. I For spending $85.74, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, now on to Goodwill. Holy shizzle. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't know where I'm going to put stuff. I'm going to end up having to put stuff on the floor. I know. I'll start with these two big things here, and then I can put them on the floor and then slide stuff over. So, $100 I spent at Goodwill, but boy, did I get some good stuff. So, let's get on with it. This is a music jewelry box. Now, I don't, I'm not in love with the color of it or the design, so my thought was to paint it and give it new life. Um, I have no idea what the song is, but I mean, it, I, it's pretty, I mean, I could just leave it like it is, but I don't know. I just think I could make it look so much better. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. All right. This is an amazing find, and I did pay up for this. But it is vintage at its finest. You guys, look at this jewelry box. This is in amazing condition. Look at, I'm using my shoulder to help me, to assist me in turning it around for you guys. It is gold. Okay. It has a, a little latch and all you do is push the little button it is gold, whoops, gold inside. Hold on, guys. 
The only issue is that I can't do this with one hand. Um, they ripped off the center um, satin stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a real pretty piece of um, scrapbooking paper and, and put it in the place of the satin because anything looks better than the dried on glue and cardboard. But it is amazing. It still has its original um, booklet. Holy cow. Um, I'll show you the drawers. I'm just gonna pull a drawer out and show it to you if I can. Look at all the little um, compartments. It's amazing. And I think the other one is exactly the same. Oh no, this one, this one has big compartments. Hold on guys, I got a bunch of stuff on this table. Look at this. Oh my God, this jewelry box is the shizzle. I can't even believe it. It's in amazing condition. Then it's got the little, um, oh look, here's the key. The key is inside here. Then it's got the little hangers for necklaces and little satin pockets and it's amazing. I was not leaving this there. I didn't care if I had to pay up for it or not. This is a fantastic vintage jewelry box. Amazing. Oh. Now let me show you this while I'm down here. <laughs> Look at this beautiful rustic sign with the with the painted sunflowers and pumpkins and gourds and whatever's in there with the galvanized metal frame. Isn't that a beautiful picture for fall? I just love it. I love the black and white checked uh, ribbon that they did on there. This was originally from Kirkland's. And it was $25. So, yeah. That I was bringing home with me. Okay, now I can kind of get at stuff. All right, let me start with this. I believe this may be Fenton. I'm almost positive it is. It is this heart-shaped little bowl. I did sell one that had the white crimped um, ruffled edge on it. Uh, and so that's why I do believe this is Fenton. It is not marked, but that is my guess. I got this awesome vintage isomatic ice crusher. This is so awesome. Look at this, you guys. Holy moly. You can hang it on a wall too, I believe. And it's in really, really great condition. I mean, this is, I, I, I would say this is probably from the 60s. Yeah, great, great condition. Love this piece. I've sold a few of these. So, yes. I got this guy for my owl lovers out there. Let me get the rest of the sticker off of here. It just takes away from the look of it when you've got sticker stuck on there. Look at this guy made out of pine cones. Isn't he amazing? Look at... Now, it, it, it does have a little hole here that your nail will fit into on the wall. Oh, he's so cute. He's a happy little owl. Look at him. Oh, my God. I love this piece. He's awesome. Some of the, some of the, the, the things from the pine cone... Are, have come loose. I'm going to try to glue them. I'll use a little bit of hot glue on there to, to so that it doesn't fall off. 
I also got this Peter Rabbit planter. Look at how cute. I got to wash it. It's all dirty. Yep. So these I'll put away for, you know, when it gets closer to spring and Easter. But yeah, I got this guy. This is uh, Telefloral Beatrix Potter 2001. Mm -hmm. So we got that. I also got this. This I believe is um, Beatrix Potter as well from 2011. I believe this is one of the, the characters of Beatrix Potter. She's so cute. Look at her. Show you up close. <laughs> uh, then I got this, um, this fall tree uh, to use in some of my craft um, assemblages or whatever you want to call them. So I did grab this. I love it. It's perfect. Um, I did get these. These are party light. And they are tea light holders. Lotus. Look how pretty. Gold on the inside of the petals. And the outside of the petals is... It's got like a pink, little bit of pink in there and white. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I just thought these were really, really pretty. You know, party light, I can't help it. Now, I'm really upset because when I bought this, these were not broken. It must have happened in transit. I got this gorgeous bird figurine, and these flowers got broken. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and just take them off, maybe, because it looks kind of crappy like that. I'm so mad, but look how beautiful. How well done. And it is, I believe it's home, yep, it's Home Co. 1979 Masterpiece Porcelain. So, I don't know. I'm going to, I think I might try to take those two busted flowers off somehow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not, but I don't want to bust it any further. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did get this for myself. I love it. I love it. I mean, I can make one of these for myself. I have some of these, and I mean, I have suck all kinds of succulents. But this one was already made, and of course, I got my discount. So, you know, I said, what the hell? I'll just get it. So I'm going to put this in my new office on my desk if I have room. <laughs> I love it. So pretty. All right. Now, this next item... I really would love to do some kind of a craft project with it, but I'm going to need some help from all of you. I want some ideas from you guys of what to do with this item. So it looks like a, um, a porthole in a ship, right? Now this opens, hang on, it was open, I just closed it. It opens and you can put something in here. So, I need some ideas. See, it's got writing on the sides. Um, yeah, so I want to see what ideas that you all come up with for this. I got this beautiful little trinket box. 
beautiful pink edging with gold details, forget-me-not flowers. The bottom part is a very pale blue, no cracks or chips, and it is not marked, so I don't know who makes it, but it is very, very pretty. I found a piece of Wedgwood in its original box. Pretty little plate. And it is true Wedgwood. So I thought that was a nice find. I'm going to actually put the cover back on the box. Um, I got this set of wood candle holders. I'm going to paint these up and do something nice with them. Um, they're just plain wood candle holders for taper candles, you know. I don't know. I'm just messing. <laughs> All right. I did get these girls. These are Home Co. Now, the one has a broken, uh, I don't remember what you call the thing that you, that you draw across the violin, but it's broken on her. Um, I can probably fix that with some polymer clay, which um, I probably will. But the rest of them are in perfect condition. And then there's this one. And I think she's playing a mandolin, maybe. So I got the set of three of those. I have a few projects that I need to do with my clay. I just haven't gotten around to it. All right. Then I got this beautiful um, blue Delft or Delft blue. Um, little ewer. Isn't this beautiful? Perfect condition, no chips. I don't even see crazing. Hand-painted, blue delft. Very, very pretty piece. Now these I did pay up for as well. I have to look these up because I've never seen anything like this. Macbeth E.T. Bailey Sculpt, Burley Ironstone, Staffordshire, England. And they are these, they're pictures, like little pictures. But they're like um, Vikings. He looks like a Viking to me, right? This one is in blue and white. And this one is brown and white. Sitting in his throne. Here, let me show you the bottom. Actually, you can see it better on this one. So these are very, very cool. Now this one has a tiny little, tiny little paint chip right there, but that's a very easy touch up. So I had to grab these. I did pay up for these, but I, I felt like it was worth it. I, I just had a feeling about them. Um, I got myself, these are shower curtains. And I love these, and uh, these are for me. I had gotten this other one, and I thought it matched, but then when I got it home and I held it up, I'm like, nah, that doesn't match. So I'm going to re-donate it, and then I'm going to use these. Now, there is some staining. I have to wash them. I'm going to see if I can get the stains out. But I love them. So those are for me. Okay, I just got a couple items left, guys. This is one of my favorite items right here. These are the most beautiful plates I have ever seen. These are done by Lena Liu. 
and they're butterfly plates. And oh my gosh, wait till you guys see these plates. Are these not just amazingly beautiful? Holy cow. These are just exquisite. Absolutely stunning. Um, this one is called Delicate Splendor. And these are from the Bradford Exchange, I believe. Yes. Elegant Splendor. This one is called Graceful Elegance. And this one is called Precious Grace. And these are from 2003. 2002, this one's 2002, this one's 2003. And this one is 2002 as well. These are stunning. And I will probably do an offer up on these. They are just gorgeous. Okay. So the best item of the haul, as far as true vintage, I couldn't believe it. So, hang on, guys. I got, oh my God. I can't remember if it's Hull or Hull now. I looked it up. I think it's Hull, H-U-L-L. -L. Oh my God, I, I hate that. Hull, Hull, tomato, tomato. Look at this apple cookie jar. Look at the condition of it, guys. It is amazing. Holy cow. And it came with the matching salt and pepper shakers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> OMG. Now, these have a lot of crazing. The cookie jar has none, but see the crazing on there? But I I don't care. I told you before, I love crazing. I think it just it just gives the item more character. So, yes, guys, I could not believe it. I'm like, no, no way. All right, guys, so don't forget to leave in the comments your ideas for that porthole box. And also, let me know what you thought of the haul. What were your favorite items? Um, do, do you think I did good with what I spent? Uh, yeah. So now I got to find somewhere to go put all this stuff. And uh, that's going to be a task in itself. <laughs> All right, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. You know, the thumbs up really, um, they do matter. Because the more thumbs up, that lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content. So please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will catch you in my next video, guys. Take care. Bye for now. Okay, guys. So this is my new office space. Um, I tried to... I really needed a long desk because, as you can see, I've got my regular printer. I've got my Rolo over here. My uh, laptop. Did I say laptop? I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. My lamp, I have all of my scrap paper, envelopes, pens, pencils, business cards, tape, stapler, you know, the whole nine yards. My snacks, 
<laughs> so I needed a big enough desk. So this I got um, um, from Ikea and I absolutely love it. You might recognize that thrifted mirror. I decided to keep it and put it up on the wall in here. And I brought some plants in. I love my plants. There's my paper shredder. I'm a big Buffalo Sabres fan. And my dad bought me this guy years ago. Nathan Gerby. He used to play for the Sabres. So I have to put him, I'm, I'm going, I'm trying to find a little bookshelf to put on this wall right here to put all of my, my books for resale. So he'll go up on top of that. I will never get rid of him. Um, as you can see, I have my, my bulletin boards. I have new blinds that I'm going to be putting up and I'm trying to find curtains to match this dark blue in my rug. And I've already had to send two, two sets of curtains back to Amazon because they just weren't the right color. So I think I have a challenge on my hands. There's my other bulletin board. Picture of me, Vinny, Tammy, Dave, and Scott. Um, my little girl, Winnie. And then here, this is inventory here. And then over here, of course, I have boxes. And here I have all of my uh, other supplies that I use for my business, all housed in these containers in the closet. I have more stuff stored in here, uh, jewelry and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm really happy with the way it it turned out. Uh, I, if I have a before picture, I'll insert it in here for you all. But that's it.